of the powers of the supernatural. Truly, your victory is complete. Don't you mean the powers of the dead? I just shoot one more off before I can't do that anymore. That's a lot of screams. Boom, 1,000. Yeah, an hour and ten minutes. That looks, it's a, it's an eight-part video. That's great. But what have we here? As soon as I click OK. Oh yeah, the credits! Sick puppies. I'm gonna read out the names of the people, because I got anything else to do. I think I was reminiscing the whole time, just listing off the names of the levels, but... Director and lead game design, Greg Barnett. Game design by International Hobo. The producer is Andy Severn. Severn. Sever. 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 Andy something. Lead programmer David Hunt. I love this music. Lead artists Jim Ellis and Mike Philbin. Art and direction and design Nick Martinelli. And character design somebody that I didn't have time to read their name because Martinelli is a long word. Artists Matthew Nightingale, Jason White, Adam Egos, and another guy that I missed. Senior animator Darren H Hatton. Animators. Duh, I'm not doing so well. Senior programmer Neil Word. Lead visual. You know, I'm just gonna forget that. Let's reminisce about the best parts of this let's play. Like uh, when we had to go get fingers. Uh, and the chef up those floors. That was great. And um, uh, how about that? Uh, how about that time that I, I didn't know how to get hogwash, but then I suddenly remembered and I got really excited. That was great. <laughs> um, all those one mortal effects. It actually didn't strike us quite as hard as I expected it to. But uh, it, it hit us a few times. Not, not very bad at all, though. I promise you, there's been a situation where I spent an extra 30 minutes on a level due to one mortal effect. 30 minutes. Kid you not. That's back before I learned about the great greatness of Spider-Face. Did you just laugh at Spider-Face game? We are in grave danger. The Ghostbreakers <laughs> are not as defeated as we <laughs> have oath. thought. Intending oh. revenge upon you, they have commandeered the Gravenville Express, which carries upon it an experimental ether bomb they intend to so detonate inside the city limits. When the mutated tissues within the bomb are stimulated, it will produce a, a massive shockwave of ethereal energy, eradicating uh -oh. all astral life in the city. Well, then we should the just get out of the city. Been set. We're not the really train must be stopped from reaching the station, <laughs> and the bomb located and destroyed before it is too late. You know, I actually don't know if that was the setup for a sequel or not. Um, but sequel had obviously never been released, but they did actually release that mission. Uh, I believe it was only available in the UK, however. So, um, both Americans and Mac users, or specifically American Mac users, got kind of shanked in that deal. And here's the high score table, showing off my times, my scores, the fact that you can revisit stuff. Do we? I think I'm just hanging out right now. Probably blathering about something really stupid like, uh, I don't know. Huh. I should probably say something really shocking, shouldn't I? You know, like, something to keep you thinking. Like, what if this is all a dream? And whenever the dreamer wakes up, we all die. Except for that one's pretty cliche. I hear that one all the time. Or, you know, man, all the time. At least once every seven minutes. Or at least once a year. Do do do. Maybe I like took a restroom break here or something? I almost had a lot to say. Huh. 
You know, it's probably talking about the fact that there's a petition that I'm gonna be linking at, at, at the end of this video. And by this one, I mean I'm gonna put it on all of them. Oh, okay, the video ended. Okay, I didn't notice that was my time to wrap up. So I guess I'm gonna keep on talking here for a bit, and it's gonna be black screen or something like that. So that was Ghostmaster. And, uh... I enjoyed it. I don't know about you. So I'm going to be keep bringing up my next one sometime. And I'm going to be keep on doing stuff with ServBot more often than I have been. Uh, we're, we're both learning this. So I guess that's all I got to say about Ghostmaster. So see ya. And, wait, there's one more thing that I wanted to say before I didn't have the opportunity to say it anymore. I think it was... um uh, uh I can't remember. I'll say it whenever I want to. Oh, <laughs> my